In the week since Parkland, there has been a renewed debate about banning assault weapons, school security, mental illness, and the minimum age you can buy a firearm. President Trump and the NRA and many conservatives believe violent video games are also responsible for mass shootings like Parkland. Tonight, Dwayne Lindo takes a look. Well, Alan, at the same time, many studies conducted on the subject suggest quite the opposite, saying these violent games aren't the only factor for violent behavior in real life. on video games is really shaping young people's thoughts. It was just earlier this year, President Donald Trump pointing the finger at video games during a White House meeting on school safety to blame for many of the nation's school is my mic shootings. On? And although Trump is it's steadfast, former District 72 House race candidate Allison Foxall feels there isn't a direct correlation between playing these games and violent behavior in real life. We've had this discussion at least for maybe 20, 30 years now. Like you said, started in Columbine, then we saw it again in Virginia Tech. It seems like every 10 years we're having this discussion. A discussion, she says, at this point is one-dimensional. Our culture has kind of a culture of violence, and we need, I think we need to look at that in greater depth of why are we like this and how can we change that. This is a situation where we need to come together as a community because there is mental health going on and we're ignoring these problems. Clinical psychologist Eddie Renier agrees. He says for someone with a poor mental state, violent video games can enhance the chances of someone committing an act of violence. So there's so many other factors to explain their violence that you can't just think it's one unitary source that say watching violent movies or playing video games lead to violence. It's such an easy correlation, it's, it's just not there. He says rather than the dangers in video games, tragedies like Parkland signify other issues as well. Suggests there's an addiction process going on, there's not enough parental supervision going on, there's multi issues, level of issues going on. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, with the rise in new technologies such as tablets and new gaming platforms, children and adolescents increasingly are exposed to what's known as virtual violence. It is also pointed out that it's estimated the typical child will have seen 8,000 murders and 100,000 violent acts before they reach middle school. But as Rene points out, blaming video games for real life violence is just shifting the blame, especially when you look at the numbers. Uh, millions of kids play video games. If they were unsafe, they, if they led to violence, we would have violence unprecedented in our society. But it's games like Grand Theft Auto, Thrill Kill, and Manhunt that some say can be dangerous. Condoning it in any way and allowing them to watch it without any comment or censorship, but it does lay the, uh, the potential foundation for somebody that's having a bad day to think that maybe it's okay. Local businessman Martin Hyde says there may be kids out there playing these games with a predisposition towards aggression. And yes, I do think that it's especially dangerous for immature minds. And a recent study from the American Psychological Association backs Hyde, saying violent video game play is linked to increased aggression in players, but insufficient evidence exists about whether the link extends to criminal violence or delinquency. Hyde says despite the studies, the impact these games have on kids are just too vast to ignore. When it comes down to it, um, this is on every one of us, not just on the parents, it's on the teachers, it's on the peers. Um, it's to send another message on a daily basis that uh, this kind of violence isn't the way to get things done. Now, Martin Hyde mentioned parents as being a key factor. Both the Psychological Association and the American Academy of Pediatrics suggest that parents take an active interest and monitor any games played by children.